Hello my lovelies. Okay, first of all, if you hear my washing machine or dishwasher, sorry about that, but I feel these vlog type of videos are a bit more relaxed, so I hope you don't mind. But, you know, uh, my life goes on and whenever I think of something, I always pop in here just to chat to you. So, as the title says, leave my eyebrows alone. <laughs> This is not to moan or whatever, just to explain. Because every time I do um, eyeshadow tutorial where I do one eye and compare it, you know, for hooded eyes, or after my eyebrow tutorial, I always get the same comments. Can you do your more hooded eye first? Which apparently is this one. Uh, one of your eyebrows is lower than the other. Uh, and that's not the case. And I'm going to show you in a minute. We're going to do some eyebrow puppetry. <laughs> um, and I show you what happens. Okay, so this is when I have my eyebrows down. You can clearly see I have hold it on. You see, I can't help it moving my eyebrows. Hold on. <laughs> you can clearly see I've got hooded eyes. You can hardly see my um, uh, mobile lid. Um, but I am very expressive and I can move my ab eyebrows incredibly high like this. <laughs> and when I talk, I always talk like this and they go up and down. So what's happening is, as you know, as, you be, as you're getting older, the skin doesn't have the same elasticity and the rebound is not the same. You know, like if you take a uh, baby's skin on your ha on the hand and pull it, it will immediately go back in. But on a really old skin, when you hold the skin, it takes a while to go back in because we lose the elasticity. The same is happening with my eyebrows. So I can lift my right eyebrow independently of this one, but I can do it other way around. So I can move them up together or I can just move this one, but I can't move just this one, okay? I don't know why that is. So what usually happens, if I do my eyeshadow on this eye, I lift obviously my eyebrow more than this one. And then I will, when I let them down, this one looks more hooded because this one's been up for so long and it takes a while for it to come down. So let's try this. This is where the eyebrow puppetry comes in. <laughs> so if I move my eyebrows like this and hold them like this for a while, when I let them down, you can see my both eyes look exactly the same. This one is no more hooded than this one. But if I'm like this because I'm doing this eye and I stretch this brow for much longer and then I let them down, can you see this one then looks more hooded and my eyebrow looks lower. And this is all down to how long does it take for your skin to go back to its original, um, original place. But you know, so because I work usually on one eye, if I do the comparison, this eyebrow is all for a very long time higher, higher. And then when I drop them down, this one is still a bit higher and this one, because I wasn't lifting it, looks more hooded. And the same when I'm just talking throughout the video is probably because, you know, I move my eyebrows and this one always goes higher and that's why this eye looks more hooded. But as I just showed you, if I have them both like this for a few seconds, then I let them down. Can you see my, my eyes completely feel less hooded because it takes a while. I can see it in slow motion coming down. So that's why you always think that I have one eye more hooded, but I promise you it is not. When people say, why don't you start doing your makeup on your more hooded, more hooded eye? Um, I don't know, it's, it's just a habit. Whenever I do my own makeup, I always start with this eye. But you then see both eyes done and they both look the same. So it's not like I'm trying to deceive you or lying to you, you know. Um, so I just thought I explained that to you. My hair is curled today. I've curled it a bit. I've got lots of tutorials um, 
on curling hair. In fact, I've got a playlist called All About Hair. So if you want to know what colors I put in my hair, because I get that asked a lot, I will um, link it here, or is it here? I never remember. Under that I card, just click on that and I will uh, link that video there. I think I might go, as I don't have any makeup on my eyes, and maybe film another makeup tutorial. Um, I've got like an hour break, might not be enough, uh, because Louis has just gone to um, a groomer, so I need to go and pick him up in an hour. Okay, my lovelies, I'll see you later. It's Saturday, we are going to lunch before we go to Costco. Paul is wearing pink, he's in touch with his feminine side today. <laughs> Hello my lovelies, so um, I've just filmed this look, this is like it's been my lately everyday look, the foundation is a bit different but you will see that probably on Wednesday. Uh, so right, I've got a couple of things to show you that I've bought. So lately when I've been doing my makeup or whatever you've seen me wearing this headband and it's an old scruffy thing. And it always, you know, amazes me that I am doing a makeup tutorial, I'm slaving over this tutorial, and the question I get is, where did you get your headband? <laughs> and I don't mind, but I just find it really funny. I'm thinking, here I am doing my makeup, and people want to know where I got this scruffy old thing. So I don't remember. This is so old, I'm actually going to chuck it, but because so many of you asked, I thought, do you know what? Actually, it's time that I got a new one. Um, I use this as well in the evening when I wash my face off. Um, I use that, you know, it's Velcro, it's tiny bit stretchy. And I probably got this one, I don't know, in, in a drugstore or somewhere. So I went to look for something like that. And I found, so I got a pack of white ones, pack of three. And these are even nicer than the old one. And they are Velcro as well. And a tiny bit stretchy. And then I thought, well, I might as well get different colors. So I got a pack of three. I've got a pink one, black one, and another white one. So I will leave you the link to those down below. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite glad someone mentioned it because yeah, these ones were a bit grubby and old. Um, another thing I bought is something to pack my makeup into when I go on holiday. And I'm talking like a bit longer holiday because if I'm just going for a weekend, I don't take that much. But if I'm going for 10 days, two weeks, I want a lot of things with me. And I don't know if you remember, I have, I have another makeup storage bag that is quite handy. It sort of opens up like a file and it has all these pockets for different things. Um, I didn't bring it down here. I might link it down below if I can still find it. But it was quite difficult if I was away and I kept my makeup in there, you know, it, it's almost like a book, you turn pages and you have compartments and things in it. So I wanted something that I can keep my makeup in, open it and it's there, almost like a makeup artist bag. And I found this. It looks like a little suitcase. It actually has a um, 
strap so you could travel with it if none of it was liquid and over 100 ml but i thought this was such a good idea i think they come in three sizes so you can get a small this is medium um it was very hard to tell how big they would be i almost wish i got large one but that's probably too much so you unzip this bag so there is the strap and you have all these compartments and these dividers are removable so you can adjust this how you want also here you have all these pockets for your brushes which i find great because i usually take my brushes in a separate um like a brush holder so that's this compartment then you have another zip here at the top where you can put more things uh, you can put your palettes here then you've got the, it's just like a suitcase really you know miniature suitcase so i thought this was so so handy is that all the yeah so handy because i can imagine being on holiday opening that having it sitting on on the table i have all my brushes everything i need here and i can see it all it is a bit not heavy heavy but you know but when you go for two weeks you can have that so i thought i'd show you that i will list all the link all the products down below and another thing um with mind of not exactly traveling but even when you go out i don't know you go sightseeing um you're going somewhere for a weekend i always have a problem with what handbag to take for example this is really nice size because i can put my sunglasses in here my phone my camera um, but it's quite uncomfortable to hold if you were walking around all day um, that's not very comfortable my very favorite everyday bag is my gucci uh, marmon crossbody bag but it's not very big so i can put small wallet in here my phone but for example my sunglasses my sunglasses cases are quite fat and big they don't fit in here my camera wouldn't fit in here well maybe on its own but not with my handheld thingy and also wearing it across your body after a while starts really hurting my shoulder and it doesn't matter if the handbag is light heavy after a while i think it's because it's this uneven distribution of weight uh, so yeah i if i'm just going for a quick run around town it's fine but if i was going to spend all day walking around with something this is not ideal so i thought i get myself a little backpack that is quite nice not too big but that i can put everything that i need in it so i found this uh, radley little backpack it's black it doesn't look very nice because i've taken the stuffing out from it so it's not too big it's got just one big opening here you have a pocket in here another zip up pocket and of course i always worry with backpacks you know that someone will run up and zip it and nick your stuff but you can put your wallet here so it's got a big um pocket in the back so that is against your back so no one can can get into it it's got this little handle and the straps are really nice they are adjustable let me put this on <laughs> i feel like i'm going to school it's got this nice touch can you see it's got these two rings here so it looks quite nice let me show you the back of it and it's very very light on its own so you know whatever you put in there it will be just weight of that yeah so that is going to be really really comfortable so i'm very pleased with that backpack 
I am probably going to go to my PO box today so if I've got anything in there I will show you as well today or tomorrow so I am going now to pick up my drugs from the chemist um, I need to pick up all my hormones and my happy pills my antidepressants I actually um, had a few days that I felt really low you know um, yes I, I had a little cry on a couple of occasions but I'm feeling better I don't know if it was you know we've had such a lovely weather for a week and I got all excited and really happy and then overnight it started being really windy cold and raining so I don't know if that flag fluctuation in weather I'm sure weather has a huge um, influence on your mood so yeah I'm much better now okay got my drags next stop PO box from my PO box I see I got another lot of masks from Solista love these masks I don't do them often enough uh, you all know about these masks these are the only pretty the only masks now that I use and then I got something really exciting is called Tropic Skin Care. Look at this. Come in a beautiful big box. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so let me quickly tell you stuff about it because I got obviously letter with it. Uh, you will really enjoy using this range as I do and you will see how natural and pure the ingredients are. Unfortunately, many high street companies use toxic chemicals in their products. For example, most sunscreens contain a harsh chemical called oxybenzone. Benzon? Yeah, oxybenzone, which is what stops you burning. A drop of this in an Olympic sized swimming pool would kill all the coral in the area didn't know that, with many countries now banning its use due to devastation on marine life. We have factor 15, 30 and 50, excellent for adults and children. So this company is owned by Susie Ma and Lord Alan Sugar. I wonder if she's been on The Apprentice. It's won 90 awards already. So this is all like pure natural ingredients. The products can be purchased individually, uh, but if you want to have best value for money, then you buy the deluxe set. I suppose that's what this is, uh, which is £19. All these products are made in UK to order, so they are all nice and fresh. So, obviously, I can't tell you much about it right now, but what have I got here? I love the packaging smoothing cleanser oh oh beautiful packaging 
smoothing, smoothing cleanser, I've got vitamin toner, then I've got skin feast, that would be probably some sort of um, serum, skin dream, that's probably age defying firming cream, then facelift, what's facelift? Oh, that looks like a, a lifting mask and then in here bamboo cloth so it looks all beautiful so i am going to start using it immediately and i will let you know um how i get on get on with this stuff you know unfortunately we can't avoid there is chemicals in everything so i suppose if you can get something that is very natural and works that's really good and obviously this is good for environment i didn't realize that that ingredient in sunscreen um, kills our marine life so it's good for environment as well okay so that's what i brought from my p.o box um i will see how long this vlog is um, if it's not too long, I might still come back. What else interesting is happening this week? Oh, I'm having my Botox this week. Uh, I probably had it last time about six months ago. So I only have it here in my cross feet and I have it here. I don't put any more here, which I would like because that's where I have the most, you know, wrinkles because of how I lift my eyebrows. But, you know, we've talked about it before, when I have Botox here to get rid of these wrinkles, my eyes droop like this. So I can't have Botox there. Okay, my lovelies, um, like I said, if this vlog is not too long, I will maybe come back again and chat to you about something. If not, that will be it.